What's going on guys, it's me, GhostXGaming here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can upgrade your computer's graphics card for free using this very simple trick that not too many people know about. Actually, only 0.02% of PC users know about this. The people who use this trick are certain YouTubers. That is why they get smooth and HD video game quality. In this video, I will explain how this works how to set up your computer for modding, and how to install the files. For bonus, at the end, I will show benchmarks that prove that this works. Okay, I will be explaining how this works. A GPU is a hardware component in your computer that is nothing but a hunk of metal that has useless circuits and fans on it. What's significant about it is that it contains a small hard drive. This hard drive installs the driver into your PC, which lets it know that it is running a particular hardware component. The better the component is, the better games and such will be set to play. Now, GPU manufacturing companies are nothing but a bunch of scumbags who take advantage of people every day. We are not going to pay $1,000 for a 1080 when we could set one on our computer for free. We are going to show the graphics card companies who's boss today. Remember, this tutorial is simple and easy, so please bear with me. Alright, now we are going to set up your PC for modding. To do this, click the folder icon on your desktop. Click this PC, and double click local disk C. You will notice a folder called boot setup. Pretty funny how it is in plain sight and not too many people know about this. Double click boot setup and double click thrasheration menu. Thrasheration menu is basically a bunch of drivers on your PC which limit your PC to doing certain things. Obviously since we are modding your computer, we are going to change this. Double click cargramptions.menu and you'll see hardware type is set to P-NS. This is very limiting. So we are going to change this to E-JAC. After doing this, we are going to change our software alliance from EFGA until on Kingston to custom. Where it says code processing, click true. After making these changes, click file and save. We are done setting up your computer for modding. Go back to this menu and double click hardware config. Double click GPU offset and double click where it says GPU rate.cvg. Here it will show how many sieverts your drivers are running at. Change this to 5000 and where it shows 2000 electron volts, change that to 20. Click unlock or click false and type in true. Click save again. We are now done setting your GPU up for modding. Go back to this menu and double click internal components. In the description below, there will be a link that will bring you to the download page of an application called 1080 Turbo. After it has finished downloading, double click 1080 Turbo, double click that name again, double click Pascal, and wait here. Go back to your folder that shows your graphics processing unit, drag the one you currently have in the trash since it is useless, and drag in the 1080 one since it is the best one. After doing this, your graphics card has been modded and is ready to test out in games. Now I will be showing benchmarks. Alright guys, this is how CSGO handles before our graphics card upgrade. We are only running at 58 to 59 frames and everything is on the lowest setting. There is also many stutters. Alright guys, after we have upgraded our video card, we are running at a solid 240 to 300 frames. 
We are not getting any more stutters, and our gameplay is smoother than ever. That is it guys, that is how you can upgrade your computer's graphics card for free. It is very simple, and be sure to like and subscribe, and show this to your friends.